believing in his messengers and, and following them, obeying them. Uh, uh, no, this is um, just for the purpose of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but I'm not in any hurry. So, so, what, so how do you, so Muslims? What do you have to do to get to heaven? So, so you, you get to heaven by obeying God and obeying the the, the messenger, the prophet. So in the time of Jesus, it would have been uh, to obey God and to follow Jesus. So in this new dispensation, we believe the, the Prophet Muhammad is the, the final prophet now sent by God. Um, he sent the Quran, which hasn't been unaltered or changed. So we have to believe in God as well as to follow the prophet of this dispensation. Sorry, I'm so okay. So you believe in Jesus, yeah. and you have to follow Muhammad. Yeah, if you want, yeah, feel free. Yeah. 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 To get to Jannah, it's the mercy of Allah. The mercy. The mercy. What does that mean? Because he is merciful. Our actions are not that. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. It's, it's, it's just so people can hear you speak. It's not like a direct. It's not like a transaction. It's never a transaction. Regardless of how much you do, you still require the mercy of God. You're joking. Yeah. So you can do all the work on earth, and you don't know you're going to heaven. No, no. Yeah. yeah. What? No, but every no, Muslim no. is guaranteed Jannah. Right? Yeah, that's what you want to say. Every Muslim is guaranteed Jannah. You just said something different. Let me. No, I did listen. I heard what you said. You were about to say I didn't listen. I listened. If I do what, whatever I'm doing without submitting to Allah, if I do whatever I want to do and not submit to the will of Allah, it's pointless. Like, if I'm not a Muslim and I do all the greatest things in the world, if I'm not a Muslim, the biggest thing, the most important thing is every Muslim goes to Jannah. Right? So what are the things you need to do to ensure you follow the, the, the laws and the commandments? Okay. What are they? You the laws and the commandments. If I may, inshallah. Bismillah. You believe in Tawheed, the oneness, uniqueness of God, mono, monotheism, okay? You believe in his prophets and his messengers. To get into heaven, Adam, Moses, Noah, Jesus, John the Baptist, Mo, um, uh, Jacob. You got to, you've got to believe that God sent them and they were representatives and messengers of prophets from God. Okay, and whatever they taught at that time, You've got to believe in them, including. So, so would you use the Bible for, for where you're getting what, your teachers from Jesus? That's another question. Let me just finish the first one. So you've got to believe in God, the oneness of God. You've got to believe in His prophets and His messengers. Uh -huh. You've got to believe in and in His predestination. You've got to believe in His books, which kind of goes into what you're saying. Well, you believe in the message, and the and the message given to Jesus, the Quran given to Muhammad, peace be upon him, the book given to Moses, the book given to David. And Abraham as well. Okay, you've got to believe in that. There's a day of judgment. You've got to believe that there are angels. So you could be. So all Muslims will go to heaven. Then? Fundamentally, yes. Fundamentally, yes. Yeah. So that's what you've got to believe. Now, in terms of actions, you've got to get have the testimony of faith. You've got to believe there is only one God, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final and the last messenger in this long line of messengers. Okay, you've got to do your prayers five times a day, as instructed by God. You've got to, um, you've got to fast. Let me finish the five. You've got to, you've got to fast if you can. If you're ill, you don't. You've got to fast if you can. Okay. You've got to give zakat, charity, 2.5% of your wealth that you save after a period of one year. If you have it, if you've got it, you give 2.5%. And if you can afford it at least once in your lifetime, you go to hajj. So that's belief, which I told you. These are the actions that I told you. And if you do and believe these, you will enter heaven. And what do what specifically? Any of, any of the, what, what if you have never, what if you, you don't you haven't kept some of them? Yeah, yeah. When he said uh, to you also repent to God, so salvation also comes about through sincere repentance to God as well. Like we believe so God. You say, so you say I'm sorry to Allah and you're it says in the Quran, um, do not despair or lose hope of the mercy of God, 
or verily God forgives all sins. Or verily God is not forgiving. Because I spoke to him, I was so confused. I spoke to a Muslim once and he said to me, like what you said earlier, which is why you said to me I wasn't listening, but I was. No, you didn't understand because you yeah. the concept is this, right? No, but let me finish yeah, yeah, what I'm saying. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He said to me, um, I don't know if I'm going to. That's not uh, true. Jenna? Hmm? Jenna, yeah. He said to me, I don't know. And I said, why don't you know? He said, because um, I can do all these. What did he say? I can do all these works, but it may be that. I, I will die and God will say to me, no. No, I understand, I understand I'm what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not making what, it up. What you say makes sense. Yeah, but maybe but he's like saying he doesn't know if he will die as a Muslim. He didn't, he didn't but if he will die as a Muslim, then... No, no, if he will die as a Muslim, then... Yeah, we don't know. If it, because we don't know the future. So, so someone can die as a as an ex-Muslim. So you can be an ex-Muslim, like you can apostate. So someone can leave Islam and but become he, a non-Muslim. He, he weren't saying it like that. No, but he doesn't know. He okay. weren't saying it like he will leave. That, he was a hardcore. No, I feel like he didn't. He, he, he tried saying, to. Can I be can, he saying, can I be he categoric? Saying, he was saying that he's gonna. He's saying he doesn't know. I die. I don't know. That's what he's very worst. <coughs> and I said to him, but he said to me, no, I have to ask the, uh, the uh, imam. Can I? Well, that that says it all that. He said, I don't know the scripture. He said to me, I don't know very well. I don't know the scripture. That, very well. No problem. Well, well, in chapter 9, verse 72. I like speaking to you because you listen. It's okay. So in Surah 9, verse 72. Start listening. Quran, um, it says, The believing men and the believing women uh, will have gardens uh, in which rivers flow beneath, and the pleasure of God will be the greatest achievement. Uh, that will be like the, the greatest achievement in paradise. You know that God is pleased with you. So in 972, it does promise paradise for both men and women, uh, believing men and women. Um, and, and there's other verses as well, like Surah 19, which is chapter Mary, verse number 68. God promises uh, paradise for those that believe. All of the things that this gentleman listed and that you have to do for it. You said to me, yes, you just said, so if God promises to all that believe, yes. but I'm saying, just to clarify, in addition to all of the works that this gentleman told me, the five things that you said, the five pillars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they fall under, so they fall under. this is what I'm confused about, because if you don't do one of them... So if you don't do them, that's an indication that you don't really believe. If you truly believe, then you would submit to God. But, but if, so you three yeah, die, you but, but three or four, if you, if you die today, God forbid, but if you die today, are you going to heaven? Upon Islam and we're practicing our religion, we haven't apostated, yeah we are. But the point is this, we don't judge ourselves, that's the whole Do point. Do you feel confident that you're going to heaven? Yes. We pray for heaven, we're yeah. confident for heaven, but we don't judge ourselves. We don't, we don't judge ourselves. If you die a Muslim, you are guaranteed paradise, yes, that's the, heaven. That's the core premise. That's, case by case. Where's that? Where's that? that's the that's the clear. In the one that you said to yeah, me. Yeah, 972 is one. There's I, I, many other. I'll give you an example. So we have hadith, the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay? A Bedouin Arab approached him. He goes to him. He mentioned the five pillars the prayer, the fasting, the hajj. If I, goes, if I do just these, no more, no less, just these, will I enter heaven? Where are you going? Sorry, my darling. All right. Yeah? Oh no, I wanted to get your contact details. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, Go ahead. Smile, you miserable people. <laughs> yeah, this, this notion about. I don't know. I think she said it in her question. He said, I have to ask an imam. I think that showed that the, the brother. Khali, khali, that the brother didn't, didn't fully understand. I think, I, think the, the, I think the way he answered the question was more like because we don't we pray Allah grants us Jannah and everything, right? You can't say I'm going to Jannah like out, right? It's like humility. Yeah, it's humility, but she doesn't understand. You have to explain the concept. Like the objective concept is every Muslim goes to Jannah, but is the person a Muslim or not? Have they done enough to go to Jannah? I think it's more accurate to say every Muslim will end up in Jannah. Will end up in Jannah, okay. Yeah. But, yeah. I, but her question, I think her question just pertains to like just going to paradise directly. That's because they have this belief that as long as they believe in Jesus yeah, Christ, purgatory and without works, without works, yeah, without works. And that's why I tried, like, when you corrected me, I tried to explain the concept that he's by the mercy of Allah, right? But because what what they they think like basically we can earn Jannah, we think they think we think we can earn Jannah. Yeah, but having it, but having hidayah and iman is, yeah. is from the rahmah of this Allah. This is the mercy of Allah. Yes, yes, true, hundred percent. Trying to trying to get it past that. Yeah. I've seen some, sometimes you have to simplify it. Mm -hmm. 
because sometimes you will say something they don't understand and, yeah, yeah. and then you have to expand yeah, yeah. and you have to expand that's upon that's that. That's that the clicker answer is yes yeah, yeah. that's why I went to Islam yeah, yeah. and Iman that's it it's simple